coming back and directing where I went to school, I like it. I mean, I, I know what the student's program is, and I know what they've been through, and I feel a connection to them. Doing a project like this with them is perfect. Uh, easier to do with them than in the professional world because you just don't have the resources or availability of people in time like you do here to do this kind of project. And so Cole, along with it. So I think just in that, um, that, that, that looks fine. And for you, it's about sort of finessing these. these Wallflower is very much a dance theater work. And so the process of creating it is quite different from working on a script. If you have a script, then you know what point A and point Z is. And over the course of rehearsal, you slowly make your way from A to Z. Here, we don't know what A or Z is. We just had an idea and a theme to play with. And so we get in the rehearsal room, and we start to play and improvise. And then more ideas come. And very slowly, it all uh, starts to fall into place. The process of creating the choreography for the piece is uh, one in which I give them some prompts, um, maybe to read a scene from Midsummer Night's Dream, and then create uh, movements inspired by the dialogue, though they don't say any of the dialogue. Probably 99% of the choreography they've created, and then my job becomes, in a way, an editor. But as we've been working on it, it's been, become more clear to me that everybody has an aspect of themselves that is a wallflower. Everybody has some area in their life where, they're, where they get shy or afraid to do something. So it's become a much broader term for me than just the kid at the high school dance. Now, you know, working on the piece, I can see that you know, the wallflower that shows up to the high school dance is just a metaphor for a, uh, an experience that people have in all areas of their life. All the design elements and the source material are all just there um, as prods and sources of inspiration for us to create something more universal around that, that subject. And maybe by the end of the run, we'll know what we've made <laughs> once audiences have responded to it. Just come and take a look. Get a ticket and come see it. Um, and hopefully at the end they can point to it and go, I, I know what that is. I can't say what it is, but I know what that is. I've been there. <laughs>